Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how I make my white sauce or my bechamel sauce. So for this recipe, you will need 500 milliliters of milk, two tablespoons of plain flour, two tablespoons of butter, salted or unsalted, they both work well, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Sauce is required in many recipes and I will be uploading a few videos um, using this white sauce so be sure to subscribe to my channel and with that let's get started so first you want to heat up the pan and melt the butter next add in your flour and cook it for at least two to three minutes if you don't cook out the flour well enough then it will leave a floury aftertaste in your sauce and in your food and it will ruin your entire dish Keep stirring the flour and the butter together and cook it on a medium to high flame for around 2 to 3 minutes or until the flour changes to a light brown colour. Continuously stir and then gradually add in your milk, little by little. In the beginning it will be quite lumpy but as the sauce heats up, the lumps should dissolve and it should become thick and creamy. Continue stirring and keep the flame on a medium to high and once it comes to a full boil then lower the flame down to the lowest setting. Continue stirring and add in the remainder of your milk. Add in your salt and pepper and give it a mix. If you find that the lumps are just not dissolving then you can use a whisk or a hand blender or an electric whisk and you can just blend everything together until everything is smooth and if nothing else works you can even put it through a sieve first and then put it back on the stove let it heat up until it is thick and creamy it will take a while to thicken up but gradually it will and it's important that this sauce doesn't have any lumps in it otherwise when you're having your pasta or your lasagna you will come across it and it won't be tasty if you try this recipe then let me know in the comments below how it turned out don't forget to follow me on instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more easy quick delicious recipes and i hope to see you next time